Well, good morning, everyone. It is mid-spring, and it is about 7 o'clock in the morning. The birds are chirping. It's 6 degrees out. The soil has gotten to about 3 degrees. Snow is all gone. The birds are chirping. Did I say that already? It is a beautiful spring day out here. We've got a forecasted high of 17 degrees. I am just chomping at the bit, ready to get out in the field. So I am going to head out and start out with that lime spreading on field number four, and then I will see where the day takes me. So I guess now's as good a time as any to tell you all about that contract I was talking about earlier. So when I was at the PB Mart filling up with seed and fertilizer, I got approached by somebody from General Mills. That's the, you know, the company that makes Cheerios. Well, they heard I was a new farmer in the area, and they thought they wanted to give me a helping hand, so they offered me a contract to grow some oats for them. So the bottom line is, I'll be growing the oats here on field number four. I have to deliver 5,000 bushels of them to General Mills, and then I get a guaranteed price. If I don't hit that 5,000, then I'll be taking a bit of a hit. But all in all, it's helpful to have a secure income, know that I'm gonna be getting a certain price for my oats, have a little bit of security in this volatile world of farming, especially here in my first year when I don't really know the ropes entirely yet. I think I'll feel really proud too, just growing oats for General Mills, making Cheerios, and kind of just feeling like I'm feeding the world with a familiar brand. And so I'll show you how all that works in Farm at Hand when I get back home and can show you on my computer. Well, that's field number four done, so it's time to head home and I'll show you that contract in Farm at Hand. So here's that contract from General Mills. Like I said, I gotta deliver 5,000 bushels of oats. And in case you were wondering, we are in the 2020 crop year, so delivery is gonna be later this year after harvest. It's a deferred delivery contract, so that means I've committed to delivering a certain amount of grain to the buyer, which is General Mills, obviously, and I get a guaranteed price for it. So I had a look at some of the different prices, and it looks like you know, $40 a bushel is probably the highest that it'll ever go. So they offered me 36, I came in at 38, they agreed, so I'm gonna get $38 a bushel for this. And I've gotta deliver it between September 7th and November 20th, which is late summer, early autumn. Now they let me know which variety I've gotta grow, which is their own special variety they did the research on, which is GM Alberta Cheerio. And so I can track that in farm at hand. Once I start harvesting and entering deliveries, I can go ahead and enter them in here, and it's gonna tell me how much I've delivered against this contract. If I head to my dashboard here in the app, I can take a look at my oats, see that I have an estimated yield of 6,147 bushels on my field. I've got 5,000 of those bushels already sold to General Mills, and that leaves me with an available 1,147 bushels that I'll be able to sell on my own whenever I want. And of course, that's obviously dependent on the yields and what the weather's like and all those kinds of things, but hopefully that's the position I'll be in. And you can also see that I've entered my plans for Roundup Ready Soybeans, hoping to get about 3,700 bushels off of field number seven. And right now I haven't committed any of those. I'm gonna wait till I harvest and then hopefully come up with some sort of contract to deliver that grain. It's still not warm enough for me to start seeding my own field. So in the meantime, I took a contract plowing field number nine and a couple other contracts. So let's have a quick look at that. So you can see that I let a few contracts go here. I decided not to do the contracts on field 12, 6, and 14. They're just massive fields and I'm not gonna have the time to get them done before I need to do my own stuff. And like I said, I took a contract on field nine plowing and then I also took one for field number one fertilizing and sowing fields 10 and 11. I think by the time I get my own crops sown, I don't have that much fertilizing to do this spring. So I'm gonna be able to go ahead and do some seeding contracts with this massive seeder I've got. Just about finished up plowing field number nine here, and once I'm done this, I'm gonna take the plow back home, wash it up, and get out there with the fertilizer spreader to do field number one. I'm finally back home. I finished the contract on field number one, so I'm all done fertilizing for the night. I'm gonna collect on these contracts, see how much money I made out of them, and then get up bright and early and get on those sewing contracts. Tomorrow I'll show you in Farm at Hand a little bit more about how I keep myself organized, how I plan out which activities I'm going to do on which field at which time. But for now, that's it for today's vlog. Thank you very much for watching as always. I'll see you tomorrow. Matt Taylor, out.